Welcome everyone. We have Ezekiel with us again and I get so excited every time I get to see him because not only does he have an amazing personality, but um, he's got some great black hits. <laughs> <laughs> so Ezekiel, how are you? I'm good. Awesome. How was your, your drive over here? It was really good. Not as long as last time because it was raining and stuff, so it's better now. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I don't know if you got to see the comments, but you definitely have some some fans out there, <laughs> which is great. So he does have um, you know black heads that we're working with, and I just finished probing and washing his skin. And I'm gonna go back and probe that one again. Thank you so much for your comments, your suggestions. I uh, I don't think I have laughed so much. Uh, some of them were so funny. Um, a lot of them were just great. And um, looking forward to implementing um, those ideas. So we'll definitely let you know who we've chosen and. Um, Thank you again. Truly appreciate that. I want to move him a little bit this way and stretch that skin. And um, let's. Go ahead and move it this way. Once we get that wash going, it's kind of like unfortunately <laughs> it starts to clear up the skin. And um, so we had a girl that we were going to record and um, we put her on the wash and She's completely almost uh, cleared and kind of a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's doing pretty good. Ezekiel, I think you're doing pretty good here. You still have a lot to clean out though. That's what you're for. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And I saw some of the comments, so I want to thank you guys for, for that. Um, they're very nice comments. Mm. And you're very welcome for allowing myself to get used. Because everybody was like, thank you for being so willing. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> You can hear the helicopters, but when you live in Fort Hood, <laughs> mm -hmm. you're going to get helicopters. So right now I'm extracting small comedones in this area. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to 
gonna go on this side and go ahead and clear this one out because it's it's ready for us to clean. So this is the ones that kind of we talked about earlier being a little bit more purple color. Um, basically what that means is that you still have bacteria underneath there and that bacteria can actually cause scarring. You definitely want to clean that out really good and make sure that um, it's all cleaned up. I am going to put a little cotton on there. Go ahead and move to the side here. And are you still holding up good? Uh-huh. I'm doing good. Okay, so these are a little bit stubborn. So I'm going to Get that whole area, don't even put it in the recording. Okay. There we go. And we'll go back and clean. So if they're a little stubborn, you just gotta go back in and um, and just open it up. Try you know not to put so much pressure that you cause a secondary condition of a post-inflammatory uh, hyperpigmentation because you put too much pressure in that area. I'm really stretching and looking and just trying to get underneath here and see what comes up. Another um, inflammatory lesion. Okay, I'm going to work on the bridge of his nose and um, his forehead. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um, the comments that you guys, um, you know, just put. I just, there's so many of them that are so incredible and so creative. And um, 
I love the fact that uh, we have such an amazing group that just kind of just dove in and and um, felt so comfortable to you know leave me comments and make suggestions and uh, but some of them were so funny mm -hmm. um, and that's it was great so um, made my day for sure So these blackheads are really stubborn up here and so I've probed them. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. A little cluster here. Okay, I'm going to work on the nose and let's see if it's ready because it's had some stubborn blackheads and we do pre-soften it we wash it and I use an acid um, exfoliator liquid to help I know that you guys had asked for an exfoliator so I do want to talk to you a little bit about the concept that I have when it comes to exfoliators. I don't use granule exfoliators because they can scratch the skin, especially like the apricot scrubs. Um, so what I do is I use a gel. And what the gel does is when it's applied to the skin, it immediately uh, breaks up the top layers of the buildup of dead skin cells. And then you just rinse it off and then you've exfoliated your skin. No need for any manual, you just apply it, leave it on for about 60 seconds and rinse off and your skin looks amazingly beautiful. Just really nice and bright. Just like you would with um, a granule exfoliator without any of the trauma again um, that it can cause to the skin. Granule exfoliators scratch the surface. They're Michael scratches, but they do scratch the surface. And so again, I'm all about not creating uh, so much trauma to the skin, but um, using products that will aid the skin to heal. That's a really good tip. Mm-hmm. Are you breathing okay? Mm -hmm. I just didn't know that, you know, mm -hmm. but the whole... Oh, like exfoliating? Mm -hmm. Were you really oily around your nose? At one time or no? I don't know. No? I don't remember. You don't remember. All of a sudden, you lost my <laughs> That's funny. You taking the fifth? <laughs> yeah, I plead the fifth. I plead the blood. <laughs> so the reason why I asked them is because, you know, a lot of times you see our patients when they come in or clients. Um, and, and I want to clarify this because... The reason why I call them um, patients is because I do have a doctor on staff and um, anything that has to do with all the patients that we see here or clients have to go through her. And so um, 
So just that's, it's not because I'm a nurse. I've never said that. I'm an esthetician. I'm proud. I'm a proud one. I love what I do. I don't want to seem like I'm doing something um, that uh, that is out of the scope of my practice. So just know that. Um, if I've offended anyone, I do want to apologize because that's not my, that's not what I want to do. But anyway, um, you see a lot of the clients that have filament, but he doesn't. Basically, all he has is uh, blackheads right now at this point. So that tells me that he's not as oily, and um, which is a good thing. So now we're just wanting to go ahead and clean all this up. So as he starts coming in and um, allowing us to do extractions, this is going to smooth out. You're going to see a lot of this area, this texture is going to completely smooth out for him. All right, well, I want to thank you for tuning in, for allowing us to be a part of your life. I know that you're you're part of mine. I always look forward to hearing from you. I have spent the last two days reading every comment, but I think it's up to like 1,700 comments by the time probably you'll see this video will be more. So I think I only got to read like maybe 100 maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so next year I'll still be hitting a little hard for you guys, but just <laughs> know that I do want to... Um, you know, read your comments and, and the ideas that you've given given us. And so thanks again. Tune uh, in to, um, you know, see our next video. We are doing videos every Thursday, and we're posting on Instagram every Tuesday. And uh, look us up on Facebook under Nilsa's Skin Essentials Acne Clinic. And um, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Again, thank you so much. Love you guys, and we'll see you soon.